Hello everyone and welcome to a new video for my BAP City 1.0 for the semester of spring of 2017. My name is Angel and my teammate is Darshana Sebastian. So the goal of this video is to show you the responsibilities of a BAP host or promoter user. So let's go ahead and show you really quick what are the main features or responsibilities that a BAP host has within my BAP City. So first of all, a BAP host can join the restaurant as a BAP host. Of course, he can update his own profile and he can update uh, the social feed section of his or her profile. A BAP host also can accept or decline attending requests. So let's go ahead and show an actual demo for all of this. So the first thing that I want to show you is how a BAP host becomes a VIP host for uh, a restaurant. If you saw my previous video about uh, an administrator actor, well, the administrator is the one who can uh, send an invitation for a VIP host to join uh, a restaurant as a, as, a, as a host, of course. So in the previous video, I sent an email to this email address. So this email was received by Brian Cranston. It says that you have been invited to join ABC Best Restaurant. So now I can click Accept Invitation and I will be taken to my BAPC where it says that I need to log in first. So that means that in order to become a BAP host, I need to use the same account where I received the invitation, the same email address. So I'm going to log in using that email address. right here and now in this uh, page it says that you have been invited to join NBC Best Restaurant as a promoter. Remember that promoter and VIP host are uh, synonyms. So here I can just accept the invitation and notice one thing, right now I just have this home uh, menu option. Notice what happens as soon as I click accept invitation. As soon as I click accept invitation a new promoter profile is created for me. I have, uh, and I'm taken to my, my promoter profile with a welcome screen and click OK. And now notice that I have a new menu item that says my promoter profile, then a sub menu with the restaurant where I am a promoter, uh, a VIP host at. But this means that within the same account, with this, with this same account, I can have many profiles for different restaurants. So that's awesome, right? One account and I can have many promoter profiles. So now this is a new profile, but I need to, of course, populate this, uh, this profile with some cool photos and some cool information. So let me go ahead and do that really quick. So I'm going to click edit profile and now I can change of course, the name, the last name. Let's say I'm gonna add a um, nickname here. Let's call it for the picture. Let me just select the picture. Let's say I can uh, zoom the picture, rearrange it. I can uh, go to the about section and copy. Let me just copy something from Wikipedia about Brian. Let's copy and paste here. Let's say click save. And that's it. Now I have updated my uh, promoter profile. If you go to about, you, you will see uh, all the details that I just entered uh, for the reviews, the users. Uh, of course, I'm, I'm the owner of this profile. so. I'm not able to add a review to, to myself, basically, but the users are able to add uh, reviews for, for this profile. And for the post, I can start adding uh, pictures, videos, and comments, so that means that I can start updating my social feed section. I'm not, I'm not going to do that for this profile. Let's uh, change the profile. But I just want to show you that if we go now to the restaurant profile, and if we scroll down to the VIP host, now I'm officially, I mean Brian is officially 
a VIP host for this restroom. So that means that all, all visitors of this profile can see it. So let me just go and open another profile. This time I'm going to open the profile for The Rock. Notice that I've changed the email address here. This is another account. So uh, the second responsibility of a VIP host is of course to keep updated his own uh, social feed so that the users can see their latest activity. As you can see, uh, The Rock has already uh, been updating his profile. The latest post will happen on the 21st of April at 6.33 p.m. So this is very similar to how an administrator will update uh, the restaurant profile. So let's go and create, let's say, let, let's post a new video. Uh, this time I'm going to choose a video from Vimeo instead of YouTube. So I'm going to just copy and paste the, the URL from Vimeo here and click post. And as, uh, as soon as I do that, that's it. Awesome. So if I want to post a comment, I can also post a comment. Hello guys. Post. So that's it. For this profile, users have, have been adding uh, reviews. So as you can see, we have many reviews here sorted by uh, so that the latest the latest review appears first. And also this uh, here is an average of all of the reviews for that user. And right now at this moment we have eight reviews for the raw. We can click load more and more uh, will be loaded. So now let's go ahead and see what happens when a user submits an attendant request for a specific restaurant and uh, that user chooses a specific VIP host. So for example, let's say that I'm interested in going to ABC. I'm gonna just fill this form and I'm going to fast forward this video so that you guys don't get bored. and I'm going to click Submit. As you see, I chose Dwayne The Rock Johnson to be my VIP host. So I'm gonna click Submit. Success. So now let's see what happens with the account for my VIP host. As you can see here, this is the email that I'm using, so I'm gonna go ahead and check my email and it says hello Dwayne and then all the information that I, I just entered in my attending request. Now as a, as a VIP host, I can either accept or decline that uh, attending request. So I'm gonna go ahead and click accept. Then I will be taken to my VIP city one more time showing the picture of the restaurant with all the details of their request in here Again, click accept or decline. If I click decline, then an email will be sent to an administrator and the administrator will be responsible for assigning another VIP host for that request. Or if there are no uh, VIP hosts available, then the administrator can actually decline the request. But if I just click decline here, an email won't be sent to the user. It will be sent to the administrator. The administrator is the only one who can actually decline uh, the user's uh, request. So I'm gonna click accept, success. So I officially accepted that request uh, from that user to uh, visit ABC Best Restaurant. So those are the main responsibilities of a, of a promoter user or VIP host. So summarizing and, and VIP host can first of all join uh, a restaurant as a VIP host, he can update his profile or her profile so that users can see uh, the latest uh, posts on, on his social feed section. He can also uh, update his about uh, tab with his own uh, personal information and uh, he can accept or decline, accept uh, attending requests submitted by uh, regular users. 
So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching.